According to the Neijing, dryness of the skin throughout the body, malnutrition, azoospermia, or amenorrhea, and dry cracking of the skin, or peeling away of the finger or toenails are all associated with Zhao syndrome. Zhao. We talked a little bit about Zhao before. What is Zhao? Zhao is, Zhao is dryness syndrome. Okay, let's look at Zhao. This is the character for Zhao. Zhao has many different meanings, okay? Uh, one is just simply dryness. But it also is anxiety. Um, it can also mean uh, vexation, palpitation. And so this Zhao has several different meanings. All of these meanings apply to Zhao syndrome of the Taeyeom individual. Now, the Taeyeom individual's Zhao syndrome is also referred to as Fei Zhao. Fei means lungs, okay? Fei means lungs. This is lung, this is Zhao. In Korean, it is Pei Jo. Pei Jo. Pronounced Pei. So you might see in some places referred to as Fei Zhao, in others the Korean pronunciation Pejo. I'm going to refer to it as Fei Zhao for now. Okay. Uh, so Fei Zhao is the drying of the lungs, and as a result, there will be anxiety, vexation, palpitations. This is the client in the clinic who who seems to be worried about everything in their life. Seems to complain about everything, be worried about everything be extra sensitive to their environment, wake up with palpitations at night, um, be easily startled by the um, door uh, doorbell ringing or the phone. So this is a uh, phase out. It's a very sensitive taeyeom. Taeyeom, when they're healthy, they're not as sensitive as this, okay? Uh, this type of taeyeom may even be uh, psychotic, uh, but not necessarily. Many, many people live with phase out. As you see, many clients in the clinic who really have a hard time dealing with life because there's so much anxiety or stress in their life, right? This is Fei Zhao. Fei Zhao is the result of significant or chronic liver heat bombarding the lungs. Now, when I say chronic, I mean that phase out can occur, say, in one's 50s and 60s if they've had a lifetime of liver heat uh, syndromes, okay, or cons cons consistent liver heat syndromes, too much heat in the liver. So it, the lung can dry slowly or it can dry suddenly if there's a big wave of heat, like an epidemic disease or real Jung emotion imbalance, okay. In that type of case, the lung just singes, it dries very quickly. Most cases we see in the clinic today will have people whose lungs are drying up slowly. So they may have a mixture of liver heat and phasal syndrome together. So for phasal syndrome, um, it is very, very common to use these three herbs, okay? Mai Mandong, a few pogon, right? Tian Mandong. Asparagus root and weight Shizandra. This this formula is actually referred to as Imun Omitang. Imun Omitang. Uh, pronounced E Moon O Mi. Tongue. E moon are the two moons. Now, what do we mean by E moon? E means two, moon means men here. So, my mandong, ten mandong. So, the two moons, omi. Wu wei zu in Korean is pronounced omi ja. Wu wei means five flavors. Omi means five flavors in Korean, okay? Wei zu is the Chinese pronunciation. Omi ja is the Korean pronunciation. So, imun omitang means the two moons with wei zu decoction. Okay? 
So, imun omitan. So, many, 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 many uh, uh, people today have this fades out syndrome, okay? So, but they may not be as weak as, uh, they may not just have phase out, they may have some liver heat. So what can you do? We can add maimendong and tiamendong to a formula like yeldahansu tang, right? Or chongpesadgan tang, okay? So yeldahansu tang plus dahang plus maimendong, tiamendong, and then you'll be helping with, say, palpitations, anxiety, uh, dry skin, um, wear and tear, okay? That's uh, one way of doing it, okay? The other thing you can do is if phase out is significant enough, but the heat is diminishing, okay? So this means really, really long-term heat. Now we have more dryness than we do heat, but still some heat. What do we do? We can do, maimindong is chief herb, so, uh, you know, eight, eight grams, for example, tianmindong maybe six, and then do lesser doses of the Yalta Hanso Tang, right? So less heat clearing herbs, more uh, supporting herbs. Now, what do these herbs do? Mai Min Dong, Tian Min Dong go directly to the lungs to support the lung function. Okay, what does uh, Gegen uh, or um, uh, Huang Qin, uh, Sheng Ma do? These are heat clearing herbs. They assist the upward. Uh, motion of yang to clear heat from the liver. Assist it, let it flow smoother, okay? Not push it. So most heat clearing herbs will send the liver energy upwards smoother. Most uh, phase out herbs, or actually all phase out herbs, okay, will help send energy to the lungs to support the source qi, the yuan qi of the lungs. Okay, so that's what uh, these herbs do. So we're talking about phase out now, okay, phase out. From my perspective, if an individual has bluish pale complexion, then in most cases, they will not have Zao syndrome. Why? Because this would indicate more cold syndrome, not heat burning up the fluids. If an individual has a yellowish red or darkish complexion, indicating more heat, okay, burning up the fluids, okay, just like the darkish complexion, like charcoal, right? We're talking heat, right? Uh, then in most cases, it is a sign of Zao syndrome which is due to heat in the liver and dryness of the lungs. So those of us who have like a darker complexion tend to have more heat related uh, signs and symptoms. Those of us who have pale complexion or purplish cyanotic lips tend to have more cold related uh, um, uh, syndromes, okay? Palish or purplish complexion. I once attended a TAM individual with Zao syndrome whose fingers appeared charred with heat-induced ulcerated sores. So this is kind of a situation where we see like a diabetic patient, chronic diabetes, and it does not, it's not able to control their sugar levels. You may see these sores on their extremities, either hands or feet. His illness started on the middle finger of his left hand where the skin, began to, where the skin became dry and black and lacked strength. Within two years of occurrence, the dry and blackened skin spread from one finger to his entire palm, causing the swellness of the palm and dorsal aspect of his hand. I proceeded by slicing off the skin around the ulcer, but two years later the ulcers reappeared and spread throughout his body. The larger ulcerative sores were the size of a quarter, while the smaller ones were the size of a nickel. After three years of illness, despite being at the prime of his life, he cannot work from, walk for more than a half an hour due to the weakness of his work for more than half an hour due to the weakness of his hands. With a loss of strength in his legs, he was unable to walk his regular seven miles per day. Back then, walking was the only way to get around, right? So it's not uncommon to walk quite a distance in Ijima's day. His bowels became looser after I prescribed 28 packs of Yeltan Sotang. Okay, we talked about that, with Galbun and Daohang. But within uh, one to two days, they became hard and difficult to pass again. After 20 further packs, he just kept his course here, right? His stools were much looser, with occasional light bouts of diarrhea. The ulcers on his face slowly began to heal, and his legs began to strengthen. After an additional 20 packs, he completely overcame his illness. So to any doctor, if they see these black sores on the hands, extending to the palm and uh, further, right? That would be, no matter who we are, no matter how professional we are, um, that would be sort of an alarming type of situation. 
And Ijeoma actually treated this the same way he treated any other liver heat type of situation. You know, clearing the liver heat helped the hand recover, helped, it, helped him get strength in the feet. So something that seems entirely um, distant from uh, the typical heat uh, signs from the liver can still be addressed using Yelta Hanzo Tang. So what did Lee Ma do here? He used Yelta Hanzo Tang plus Da Hwang, which makes it Cheong Pei Sagan Tang. Now what does Galban do? Galban helps clear heat, but it also helps nourish the lungs. So it has a dual function, and obviously in this situation, we want to nourish the lungs, help the Taem's weakest organ, because this person is very deficient, okay? And um, as well as clear heat. So he, Galban, right here. Galban is really good for that. Galban is also good for um, upper body heat-related situations, like in the hands, upper extremities, in the throat, okay, the eyes. Very good for dryness and heat mixed together. One thing worthy of noting here is that out of Maimendong, Tianmendong, Weizu, out of these three herbs, Weizu is very astringent, okay? So while the other herbs move into the lungs, they don't have astringent energies. This is just the pathway, the, what we call the horizontal pathway to help support the lungs. But Weizu, by nature, is very astringent. So if there's a heat-related situation, uh, a Yarda Hanzo Tang situation, or a Cheong Pei Sagan Tang situation, or a Kalgun Sungi Tang, or a Kalgun Hegi Tang situation, we really don't want to use Weizu because such a stringency could trap in the heat, and we don't want to trap in the heat. So, if we want to support the lung function when using Yarda Hanzo Tang, we would use, for example, Yarda Hanzo Tang plus Maimen Dong and Tianmen Dong and leave out Weizu. So we wouldn't use the whole Imunomi Tang formula, okay? Same goes for Kalgun Sungi Tang, Kalgun Hegi Tang. Whenever we want to support the phase out syndrome, the weakness of the lungs, the weakness and dryness of the lungs, then we can add to the heat clearing herbs, if this is a heat situation, um, the Maimen Dong and Tianmen Dong, okay? It's very commonly used in heat clearing situations where the person is not only suffering from liver heat causing internal heat syndrome, but also phase out lung weakness.